So I'm uh, Robin Walker, and I'm a um, member of staff at Royal Holloway University of London. And I've got interests in visual perception, how people see, including macular degeneration. This particular project is going to run for two years. Starting, it started now, but we're in the preparing stage. So we, we hope to start recruiting people by the end of the year or early next year. Um, and the idea is that we want to recruit people who have visual hallucinations. And then at the end of this, we will use the evidence that we gather to see if these therapies or treatments are effective. But nobody's done a formal evaluation of if any of these treatments actually work or if one is more effective than the other. So as far as I'm aware, this will be the first study that's actually going to evaluate the use of these techniques that come from anecdotal reports when people are asked, um, what do you try to um, get rid of your hallucinations? And at the end of it, we hope to be able to show that, yes, there is some evidence that using these therapies can help reduce the impact of the hallucinations that some people can find quite unpleasant. But the recent study that we've just done, survey of younger people, where we find people and even children can have visual hallucinations as well. So we know it's not due to some kind of psychiatric condition at all. And just people understanding that, I think, can be a big relief to them. So the more that awareness can be raised in the general population that um, people can uh, experience visual hallucinations, seeing things that aren't there, which is due completely due to their sight loss condition and not something else. It will be really reassuring to people. Um, I'm Rianne. I'm a psychological wellbeing practitioner at the moment. I work in a talking therapy service, um, so delivering therapy for people with um, low mood and anxiety disorders. Uh, I've been working in mental health for 17 years, and a big chunk of that has actually been in research. So working in research for uh, people with Charles Bonnet syndrome and other visual impairments and understanding the impact of things like hallucinations, which is where my interest from this came from as well. I mean, it would be great if we could completely eliminate um, hallucinations, but being realistic, we're really there trying to kind of reduce the amount that people are experiencing um, these hallucinations and also the severity and the distress levels that they may cause people as well. Um, I think it's something that is really important and something that has been missing for a while it's a condition that's been around for so long um, and it's so so important to be able to have something that is going to support people to be able to I guess have a better quality of life if if they are kind of struggling with these it can be something that can be quite scary uh, for some people and it can be quite difficult to explain to loved ones, friends, colleagues or and things what they are experiencing so to be able to kind of have this as an evidence base for you know well actually this is what I'm experiencing these are the things that I need to try out whether you are getting friends and family involved you know being able to just feel a bit more confident in understanding your own condition for what it is but also finding ways to be able to manage that better. We know they can vary you know they can be anything from dots, flashing lights, shapes, it, to, to things like full scenes, you know, full on, I can see a waterfall and, you know, the ground is like grass and it's, you know, bumpy and completely different to actually it's my bedroom that I'm in. Um, so I think it's, it can be, it hopefully will be quite life-changing for people if we can see that these techniques do work. Um, and the more that we can kind of record that, understand the data and, and see how these things can um, affect people, hopefully in a positive way, I think will be amazing. So we are hoping to have this research project up and running by Christmas or early next year. So if you are interested in taking part, please do send us an email. Uh, our email address is cbs.study1 at gmail.com. And we can answer any questions for you. As I say, please don't be put off uh, by you know, having to complete things online. This is what I'm here for as the research assistant.